Um, so, Michael Blakemore, the director of the show, it's an um, absolute pleasure to meet you this evening. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the show, it was amazing. Thank you. Um, could you um, just tell us a bit more about how you're thinking on this show? Because you did it back in Broadway 20 years ago, and the kind of changes or that kind of thing. Well, we haven't made many changes. We, we altered the book a bit. I, I did a, On the original production, I did a bit of work on the book, and I felt there was, we could make it a little bit tighter, a little bit shorter. So I did some more work on the book, but I think it's a kind of, I don't think it's a story that dates. It's a musical, what it really is, is a tragic melodrama, yeah. enhanced and given size by this n incredible score of, of uh, Cy Coleman's. Uh, and its, its predecessors yeah. are uh, obviously West Side Story, Porgy and Bess. Uh, you don't get many of these sort of, um, musicals these days, but I like them. I like a music in which a musical in which I can really identify with the story yeah. and, 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 and works as drama as well as music, yeah. which I think this one does. Yeah, I was going to say, how, does, how do you get the fine balance of keeping in the kind of gritty, darker elements whilst also combining the musical element? Well, uh, it just needs good acting. It needs the, the actors need to play it as if they're in a play. Yeah. And, uh, of course, they're always coming down from the huge high of a big musical number. And the, the, the musical numbers have got such great lyrics that they also they carry the drama forward as well as simply being musical interruptions. Yeah. And it's so, uh, so, they're so exhilarating. I mean, that song, yeah, My cool. Body, is just... Yeah. It, it, and it's full of ironies. The show's full of ironies. It's so strange to have this bunch of hookers <laughs> making essentially a women's lib anthem. <laughs> you know, that's what it is, you know. I know. That's what I was thinking, because I was thinking, some of times it seems like they're having a really good time, and then there's the really dark side, and it's kind of like, it's just brilliant how you can see the, the, diff the balance, isn't it, of the two? Well, that's what, uh, really, the, in, in, the, in the first act, we wanted to familiarise the audience with this rather unsavoury world, mm and make sure that they perceived these people, however much they disapproved of them, as human beings with their energies and their problems and their, all that. So they, they were humanized. But in the second half, we made sure that we weren't uh, presenting a sentimental or softened picture of prostitution mm. because it's not that. No. And so it's very tough. The second half is very, yeah. very tough. Uh, but it's also... The, the the act in which this one virtuous relationship in all these self-serving relationships and this uh, need for money and greed for money and suddenly these two women in that sense it's a very very modern up to the date up to date musical because the purest thing in the play is this disinterested friendship between these two women yeah and one helps the other get out of the game get out of the life no, it was brilliant. Yeah. And um, I was just going to say, you, so you've done so many amazing things and you, you did this in Broadway and now you've brought it to the Southwark Playhouse and I know you're trying to transfer it to the West End. Have you got any advice for kind of up-and-coming directors how to go about this? Because I know you were saying it's hard for someone as big as you even, you know, to get to the West End. How, how, what's, how do people go about it? Well... You know, the trouble is the theatre changes so much from generation to generation. Yeah. And all the things that enabled me to make a move upward mm. don't apply anymore. Yeah. I mean, I would have said to a young director 20 years ago, go into rep, go into provincial theatre, move mm. slowly up the ladder. But that ladder isn't really there anymore. No. I don't know. You know, you can't give them advice. No, you, you can't be... And you can't be given advice. Mm. You've just got to keep your fingers crossed, try and don't give up.